Hey guys, welcome to the next video. Today we are going to install some speakers into the front of my brother's 2014 Honda Accord Sport. Let's get started. I dream I know Deep up my feelings feel Watch them grow Perceive devote This is the seed Light the show Watch them grow I dream I know You look right here, there's a little clip Deep up my feelings feel Little pliers actually work really well for it So you all know how hard these little clips are It's actually going to be here So I have it since I'm finished with it. Well, otherwise, this is actually probably one of the easier door panels to finish. Little orange pride tools are such a lifesaver. Otherwise, you scratch up your fingers, scratch up your interior, break stuff. You wouldn't think that the little plastic thing would make it so much easier to do any of this. So, there it is right there. So, here's what we're so, peeling away. You can see the speaker is in what, where most places, or where most, most speakers are in cars, right there. But one thing that we're gonna do is not completely take the door panel off because of everything plugged into it. So we're gonna kind of hold it there and do everything all at the same time. These right here, um, they're called speaker wire, wire uh, speaker wire harnesses. So just like your CD player aftermarket ones you put in, these actually save you, so you don't have to cut and actually re-solder, reconnect your other ones. This will actually plug into your OEM harness, and these will connect to your aftermarket speakers. These are you can find them on eBay, Amazon, a pair of them for ten bucks. So it saves you a lot of extra time doing that. So like I said, it's same same exact thing as the other one. So. Like that, all I'm gonna do is plug these into the speakers and you're good to go. Must be nice. This is the seed, like the show. Watch them grow. So one thing with aftermarket speakers is they almost never directly fit into wherever you're trying to put them. So they sell these uh, adapter kits right here, but they say, oh, just put the speaker right on top of it and put it in your car. Funny thing is, that never fits either. So one thing we've learned at any time we install speakers into anything, we make it our own. So we're going to drill, well, drill them all, cut up some of the brackets off so it fits so much better into the car. Take it away. So as you can see the difference here, these little brackets are supposed to hold the speaker that the screws go into. So what we've done is just basically cut them off so that the speaker sits a lot more flush and will be able to go into the door. Shop dog, move. <laughs> So as you can tell now, with all those little brackets, it's an adapter for basically any 
six and a half is what my car is six and a half inch to sometimes like a five and three eight so you have to make it adapt for you yourself so as I have right now you have the standard hole that's gonna go back into the car itself it's gonna be here I'm also gonna add um, another sc screw you have right here so I'm gonna add these two more which the speakers do come with so I'll add those in there since it's gonna be sitting like this it's gonna need to be able to make sure it stays fit in there since it's gonna be in the door what So for this one right here, the stock screw is a lot longer. As you can see, I'm trying to get it to go through most of the way because this is what I'm going to need to make sure I do to line up inside the car. Um, the other thing that's going to be a little tricky right now, so you saw we already put the harness wire in. Right here is going to be where they connect to. So you have, uh, depending, basically how it's going to be, you have your black and white and then you have your the white. It's going to be basically your power and your ground um, for each one. It's basically your red and your black. Um, on the harness wire itself, it actually, I believe it actually matches, so we'll just match up with it. So we'll take the solid white one, connect it to this end terminal, and then we'll take the black and white one, and we'll put it to that one. We'll screw it up, and then we'll do a test run before we actually hook everything back up together, because that's the worst feeling to have it not work when you put it back. See, you have a solid white one, and you have the solid black one. Um, like I mentioned here, they're pretty similar so obviously basically like when you're hooking up a stereo you go color to color they try to make it a little easier um, I suggest the bigger one is going to be the power source the smaller one the black is usually ground the negative I try and put that one on first since it is smaller the connection is a little tougher to get in I had a problem with that last time so it takes a second Oh, there. I had to put some force into that. So, right now as you see through here, you can see this little clip right here, how I was talking about mounting. These two holes right here are gonna be these little clips. So basically you're gonna piece it together like that. Put it back up in there. So that means we hooked that one up correct. So now we're gonna piece back together everything, tighten down the speaker, and do the same thing on the driver's side. I like how right now it's we because this whole time all I've been doing is holding the camera and the door part. This time I'm actually not doing anything. Emotional support. There you go. So next up of course is the driver door, the opposite side of which we just did. It's gonna be literally the exact same process. Take the door card off, unplug the old speaker, plug in the new one, do our little fabrication, and make sure it works, and then put everything back together. It's both really simple and it can be complicated if it is your first time. Luckily we know how to take this door apart and have done speakers before, so that's why it looks really easy. And again, everything becomes easy the more you do it. your clown 
So that about does it for our speaker install. We got the other one done, finishing up the door right now. It, and it's uh, firing off just like it should. So that's it, there you have it. That's how simple and kind of annoying it can be to install speakers. Even though they say they fit, they really don't, but yet they that's do. What, that's why it's an adapter. Which aren't that much either. No. They were like 13 bucks, so. So total, yeah, we didn't get um, top of the line speakers, but about total, what did you spend for the two front speakers here and um, with your adapters? Two front speakers, adapters, and the harnesses, like 80 bucks. So 80 bucks for that. Um, and I did the back one, so just under like 130 bucks, just to better than the stock one, nothing crazy or anything. But like I mentioned earlier, I'm gonna do a whole sub one, two, so that one, will be, that one will be a lot longer process. That takes a while. We really gotta take the whole car apart for that, all the interior. Um, and since we're talking money, we don't really have a total price for that because we've had the same subs for many years. And It's just upgrade here and there. So like a different install kit, um, different amp, uh, different boxes over the time being. But I can say roughly the whole setup that I have have is roughly by like 850 900 bucks around there is about what it about what it cost for when I initially got everything and then I'm gonna start upgrading different things too so the box I'm gonna only have for a little bit because they make a special custom box so it gives it like an OEM feel when you open the trunk for it so we'll see more money more money more money so there you have it, it cost rough estimate straight up you, people ask you how much does it cost to upgrade you know sound in the car you just tell them a thousand dollars straight up and that's without a head unit yeah and we okay. haven't even put a radio head unit in yet that's just the regular one so when you start thinking you want to upgrade your speakers just buy a turbo instead so there you have it guys that's uh one of our install videos we're gonna have another one coming up here in a second we're gonna film but probably see it another time. It's probably getting really dark in here. What? Anyway guys, thanks for hanging out with us today and uh, hope you might have learned something, something new. Anyway, until next time.